<laughs> hey people, Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw a Tibetan hand. Enjoy. People, how to draw a Tibetan hand. You've probably seen this quite a lot, you know, it's used quite a lot in Asian kind of sort of style tattooing. You're going to start off with, funny enough, is not a hand but an egg shape. Coming up almost to a point at the top. Not quite wide at the centre. This is what you want to start with. Okay. Then what you want to do is bring the line down like this so. Imagine the curve lines come from the top. Slightly off there. And then this side, I'm going to bring out our first hand. So this is going to come up here very lightly. Bring this curve around here. Now as you get towards the top of the uh, egg shape, curve the other way. Then what we want to do is come down in three stages. Curve down one point. Curve down two. Curve down three. Each finger is going to be that same principle. You know, three curves inside it. We're going to have one finger here. It's going to slightly come outwards. So we're going to curve there. Once we get to about here, we're going to curve the other way. So you get a nice smooth curve just coming up here. It's going to curve into one, two, three. Bring a little line across just there. You imagine coming back from here, behind it, you're going to get another two fingers. So it's going to curve up again, curve up, and then curve out a little bit. Curve down one, two, and that will go three and come down to there. So you're going to skip this little bit here and add that little bit at the bottom just there. Finger next to it is just going to come here, just next to it. So one, two would be there, three would be there. And this is going to curve quite circular, just there. Then we're going to bring this line out around here, we're going to curve up, get to about here, we're going to sort of create a little bump, just there. Curve up, cut into that A shape just a little bit and curve the other way backwards. Curve around, one, one big one. One little one into one big one, just there. Curve that. Now, when you've got this one last thing just here, we're going to create a little curve just here. And then just create a curve coming up and a curve, uh, curve coming down. So you have this shape just here. And in here, we're going to do eyeball. And I'm going to create just about a bit more sort of curved. So I'm going to sort of bend this curve a little bit this way. So it's a bit more of an S kind of bend. I'm going to come up again around the outside, a little bit that way. It's going to bring a little curve line, just come around the outside of that. A little curve line, just come around the bottom of that part. So I'm coming here. And these lines we've done down here, pretty much as it goes off into the wrist. Now what I'm going to do is bring a little line come up here, come through this gap in the center of the finger. It's going to curve up to the top. It's going to line. It's going to curve up through the center of this finger. So a bit of that, and a little bit just on this farm. It's going to curve down to that side just there. And I'm going to bottom. With, I'm going to separate this bottom bit. So I'm just going to do a line here, create a loop, a second loop, and then just balls off the bottom of it. You can have like a flower come out of the hand if you want. Now I'm going to come up into that just a single kind of leaf, I think. Some little leaf a bit, it's just come off around the outside. It's more traditional like a flower that goes there, but I'm thinking the leaf's got to be pretty cool and a bit different. It kind of just fits right. Just some little bits around the outside, maybe some clouds, just uh, circle off the design. So what I'm going to do now is grab me Sharpie. If I can find it. Where the hell has it gone? Where are you, Shappy? No, you're not quite right yes. Two seconds. I might make my stuff over there for a sec. It's good, but that's not the Shappy I was using. Yeah, 
crystal. So it's got a quickly go around the outside edge with a sharpie and maybe the little fine couple of fine line details, nothing too crazy. Each time I do this line, I'm just going to bring this curve just a little bit past the finger, you know, past the H curve. Now, for this particular design, I'm not going to do fingernails. I think these hands in particular look better without the fingernails. So let's just go around pretty much all the edge work we've just done. With a few line exceptions. Just like so. Do this in pen, it's the fine line of first, so good position. So, it's going to do three little lines, just it's coming off one long one in the middle, two kind of curved off to the side. It's coming to Sharpie now. It's going to create a curve, come up to a point at the end of each line, curve back, create a little loop just here, and come up to the other one, curve back, little loop, go back to the other one. Go back to the start and add the stem, just like so. So now I've done that, so I'm going to grab a fine line up. Just bring those little side lines we've done. Side lines and maybe just some little lines just coming up through here. Just give it a little bit of detailing. Nothing too crazy. Grab me rubber. Just rub up pencil some work in the hand. It's gonna do a few little detail lines just here. Just curving off. For each leaf bit touching the edge. Just going around all those side bits. Like so. I'm just going to add a few little leaf bits just around the outside of the other pan. So I'm still doing pretty much the same way I just done that one. Obviously these ones are just a little bit separate from it. So these two side ones. And last little ones on these bits. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to grab my ones in and brush markers. You can use pencils, paints, whatever you want for this. Don't feel like you have to use these if you don't want to, but they are pretty good. 
It's going to flick in some black, mainly in the little corner sections. So the corner by the hand there. Corner bit there. A little bit between each kind of finger just there. A little shadow from that one. And there's a little shadow just coming from the tip of each finger. And then what I'm going to do is go down my grey, so I'm going to go to grey tone now. Just work over those edges of the black. We're just coming up this side bit we've done just there. Going into a light grey now. Just blending that completely out. Now as it dries, these will just pretty much fade to nothing. So you get like a nice good smooth blend. Just gonna put a little bit just on the side bit of the side just here. And a little highlight just in the centre. Coming on with that darker grey. Just there and there. And there. A little bit just around that loop. So, I'm going to get a pray marker. It's going to colour the whole hand in blue, except for the eye. Now you don't want too strong a blue to begin with, you know, on a, on a B, you, know, you want it to be quite light so you can blend it out quite easy. Now it's going to get a yellow. It's going to flick this yellow, not this one, because this one isn't. Brush marker one. And this blue is just, this yellow is just going to turn that blue into green. I'm just going to flick this down from some of the corners so I get this cool kind of two tone effect. Like so. I'm just going to get me a red. I'm just going to put a red strip. Just on each one of those lines we've done. Just like so. I'm going to get it orange. Let's go a little circle highlight just on this corner. Bend that a little bit from this side and do the rest kind of yellow. Pencil work in those leaves. Now I'm going to get me brown. Just going to flick in some brown. Uh, brown? <laughs> brown at the bottoms. At the bottom, why am I talking? Oh, sorry, I'm losing my leap. My tongue is going today. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So, yeah, brown, orange over the top. Some nice kind of autumn vibes going on with this. Blending that out into the yellow.
So you see, you're getting this nice kind of blend sort of out from it. Ground on it inside out a bit. More just on that bit, and then going into my purple. So I've got some purple clouds around. They're going to blend out as I go further in. So it's going to be quite strong purple to begin with. Just doing this repeated semicircle shape, just bouncing off different sizes, just all the way around. Get different sizes in there, but make sure that your curve doesn't go too much too dramatic. You know, you want to make sure they're nice and circular in all the same kind of circle sort of shape. Just change the sort of size of them. Just gonna add that there. And I'm gonna come over with this grey purple now. I'm just going to blend this out. So the idea is I want it sort of strong on the outside, getting lighter as it goes towards the inside. Just like that. Just grab yourself a white pencil. This one's just a Faber Castell, but Prismac ones are the best. My Prism one's just a bit low at a minute, so I use it all the bloody time. So little circle on the eye, little circle there, little line just off it, that little highlight we left at the side bit. A little bit just in the centre of these two gaps we just done here. So there and there, and just blend that out. Little white line just on the inside there. On the inside there. A couple of flex just here and there. And I'm just going to put this white highlight just around the outside. Of that hand. If you like these sketchbooks, I am going to be selling them on my uh, Etsy page, so... If you can't find them, I mean, you should, you should better find them in your local art store, but if not, and you want a personalised one, just check out my website, they should be up any time now. So if they're not back yet, check back in a week or so, they will be up there. Bit of a nice fancy little broken puppet logo on there as well. You can see just adding this all around the edge. Only around the hand, I'm not going around the leaves. Just gonna make it sort of help that stand out. A little line just there. Lastly, grab my red. Just make a little bit to the bottom. And there you have it. That is how to draw a Tibetan hand. Now you've got other poses and you've got the ones together, you know, to kind of like all this and stuff. You know, but yeah, the premise of like, doing them is just getting the curves right. You know, it's not really sort of human hands, it's got like, kind of got nice curves and make sure they kind of make sense together. But yeah, I hope you like it. Comment, subscribe, like, yada yada yada. And a broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.